What is up YouTube, McCann here and welcome to another FIFA 21 video. Um, it is currently 10 to 10 on Friday evening and we did have a new Road to the Final Team free release tonight. A new promo which is, the, for what I've seen, the players look absolutely banging. Um, we should have a new freeze SPC player um, and I believe there should be a, a new objective Objectives player as well. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting into them. I did see on Twitter earlier on the day that your man standing on the left hand side of the screen there has won the player of the month for the Bundesliga and his SPC has been released so I'm interested to hear a closer look in that but he looks pretty decent in the face the face of his card so as I said we'll load up Fit Bin and we will get into all this stuff but I'm just going to load up all my team just now just to have a look and see the loading screen. <sighs> Oh, that Serge Grambe looks absolutely banging. So he is obviously the S oh, a centre back Volland. That's very interesting. And then obviously they three road to the final team three players there. Boom, Meta, and obviously, as we all know, the road to the final they always get if the teams go through they progress in the competition, their cards do get upgraded. So I'm looking at that Varane there and I'm thinking to myself. In my opinion, he's already the best player. He's already the best setter half in the game. What's it going to be like after an upgrade? Do you know what I mean? So, we will start with objectives. We'll get straight into objectives. Um, fuck, freeze, Volland. Such a weird card. This guy is usually a striker and he's. Do you know something? He actually looks a very, very nice setter half. Um, I'm interested to see his in games, to be honest, but. Um, are these all right? So they're all with eight, at least eight league one players in your starting squad. So assist three goals using defenders, assist four goals with crosses, um, score eight and eight separate rivals matches with German players. So you need to score with the Germans in eight separate rivals and oh, eight, eight separate uh, life friendly matches. Sorry, rivals matches. Um, score two headers using league one players and win five matches in the life friendly managerial masterpiece so again very 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 easy to get a hold of this guy he's there for 10 days 20 hours so 11 days theoretically and uh, again he looks very very nice as I said half which this is probably the most weird and creative card FIFA I've ever released in my opinion this position change is insane and again it's no very I've never actually seen um, a promo volume before this is probably the first time I've ever seen him, other than an inform, get an upgrade. So, I'm actually looking forward to, as I said, looking at his in-games. Um, do we have any milestones? No, we do not. And then, do we have any other objectives? We have Real Madrid fourth kit. So, it's win a match with a Real Madrid player in your starting squad. Play four matches and score eight goals. You'll probably do that by accident, to be honest with you. Um, so, objectives look very, very neat to start with. Um, play... The SPCs. So it is Serge Nabry. Two squads. This guy's going to be pricey, I believe. An 84 rated squad um, with one Bayern Munich player and 70 chemistry, and an 86 rated squad with 60 chemistry and a Bundesliga player. Rare mixed players back in a small prime gold players pack. He's going to be pricey. I'm saying maybe 200, 230 to 240k for this guy. Um, but it looks a very, 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 very nice card. Um, we'll hear a closer look at him on Fitbin as well. Um, Ellen Harwin, as I said, the player of the month um, for uh, November, I believe it is. Yep. Um, on the face, it has stats look a shambles. 85 dribbling, 91 physical, 94 shooting, 90 pace. Passing's a bit meh, but hopefully he's got the right key passing stats in the right areas. Um, when we look at him at his in games, so again Dortmund player, team of the week minimum one, 84 rated for a jumbo premium gold pack, Bundesliga player, 85 rated, 75 team chemistry for a prime electron players pack, and for a prime mix players pack, team of the week one player, 85 rated and a 70 um, team chemistry. Again, a quite a bit of content, but a quite a bit of pricey content, I must say. Um, again, if you are looking to complete all these guys, get the upgrade packs done. And as I'll reiterate again, as I have done in my past few videos since, since this foot freeze um, promo started, if you cannot afford to do these actual cards, go and do the loans. I'm telling you, you'll be able to use the loans and um, um, friendlies for objectives, for milestones, anything like that. Go and do the loan, Politano, 
he's just Navas. Um, and as I said, the, the Serge Nabre, the, the Aaron Wan Bissaka owns there, which I've actually completed because I wasn't paying the price that he's coming in at. Never ever do that, actually, Oxley Chamberlain. That's an absolute shambles in SPC. But if you cannot complete, put it this way if these guys are not getting into your main team, like your champs team or whatever your main team is, don't do them if they can't break into that team because they're far too pricey to just do the SPCs. Unless you've got the coins or the fodder and you like the player or you've got a connection with the player or you just like card collecting, then fair enough. But if you're limited to coins and limited to fodder, kind of like myself, don't be spending, like for example, maybe, I think he's just Navas 150k and then the price of Nabry is probably going to be about 100, 240k. Don't be wasting this type of fodder slash coins on these players if they're not making that in your first team. Just do the loans. All the objective players, all the milestone players are going to be in friendlies and you can use them for, for absolutely nothing in um, the loan cards, which is which is great this year. That's a, some, it's a very, very good thing to bring out. Um, so I'm going to load up Footbin the now. Um, so here we have Footbin just now. I'm actually going to load up Twitter and I'm going to search EA and I'm going to let you have a look at the team. So this is the team here, um, we have an 88 Varan, an 87 Ronaldo, an 87 Alaba, an 87 Brand, an 87 Akardi, 87 Pogba, 87 Insigne, Cancelo, Tadic, Rebic and Kubo. So again, a very, very nice team and this Voland is interesting me a lot. That position change is so unexpected, so random, um, but it looks actually a, to be a nice, nice, nice card. So um, we're firstly going to have a look at Varan. Win Aldom, Pogba, Alaba, Kubo, oh, sorry, Kubo, Rebic, Brandt, Cancelo, Insigne, Icardi, Tadic, so I believe that should be 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, who do we have twice here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Oh, we've got 11. That's cool. And then we'll open up Serge Nabry and Voland. Has there been the rest of the Prime Icons released? Because if that is the case, that is very, very nice. Does it say anything on Twitter about that? I believe there was 50 Icons still to get released. The remaining Prime Icons are not, not already available for... Um, FIFA 21 have now replaced their base versions and packs so these guys are now officially out as prime icons Maradona, Zidane, Cruyff, Mardini, Puskas, Varese, Matthias, Canton are best do you know what I mean this is this is the this is what you want to be getting packs and packs um, that's very very nice actually so again the rest of the, the prime icons have been released I'm actually not even going to speak about Varane Again, this guy, in my opinion, as I said, he's the best set of half in the game. And I just want to make a point before I run through these cards. These are live items. So, as they, as their teams progress through these competitions, they are going to be upgraded. So, this Varane, this, this guy, I think they've got Atalanta in the next round, which I presume, but I'm, I'm, I'm betting against um, Atalanta to get beat. So, Varane's going to end up with an upgrade. And he's, he's already the best centre-back in the game. He's better than Van Dijk, in my opinion. He's better than Gomez. He's just absolutely cracked. Fits, fits the meta. Um, he's just a, he's just an absolute shambles. That defender is absolutely brilliant. That pace again. You're not going to get by this guy. So I've not got much to say on him. Gini Wijnaldum's a nice card to actually get. Um, you can tell that with the price he's coming in at. Half a million. Um, again, way an engine this guy. is absolutely brilliant. That nice pace, dribbling. Um, passing's very high tier, defending and physicals are very, very well rounded and the shooting's also very well rounded as well you put a shadow on this guy, as a box to box midfielder this guy's absolutely brilliant um, you could actually just, you could use him as Ent, you can put absolutely Ent on him um, powerhouse a 92 centre mid which is absolutely excellent so this guy is a very very nice card to be packing Paul Pogba, another one I don't really need to say much about um, he fits the meta, he's 4 star, four, he's 5 star, 4 star sorry He's got a unique body type, um, flare trait outside the future trait, but he's six foot three. He's just an absolute monster. Stick a shadow on this guy, you'll have this guy for the rest of the FIFA. Honestly, he's just brilliant in game, so I don't have that much to say about him. David Alba is an interesting card, three star, four star, medium, medium work rates, no traits. But again, a shadow on this card is a 91 centre back. 
And again, it is a live item, as I say, I can't stress that enough. So he has the Bayern Munich are obviously going to go far in this competition, so he's going to get upgrades and he's going to be an absolute banging centre back. So a nice car to get your hands on it as well. Kubo, he's only 34k, and I can see why he's only 34k. Um, dribbling, <coughs> very, very nice in terms of agility balance, but composure's too low, reactions are too low, shooting's just not good enough, passing's just not good enough, physical and defending, again, just not good enough. Probably as a super sub, would be a nice car to bring on with that dead eye chem style. As I said, I'm not really sure how Villarreal are doing in the Europa League, but again, with a couple of upgrades, he could become a valuable player, but not really offered much to now. Um, four star, four star for Rebic. Rebic has always been an interesting one for me because he's always been good, but he's always lacked that slipperiness, like, you know what I mean? He doesn't feel light, and that's due to the agility balance being too low. But again, pace very, very nice. Just start finishing on this guy, get that agility balance boosted. That shooting's absolutely class. Passing's actually no too bad in the right areas. Short passing could be doing me an improvement, but in general, the physicals are very, very nice as well. In general, a, a nice card for Rebic, and again, always that chance of an upgrade. Julian Brandt, very nice card again, 4 star, 4 star, medium high work rates, outside his foot and flare shot trait. I'm not really sure how uh, Dortmund are faring this year, but again, with an upgrade, this guy would be very, very nice. He's a 92 cam with a dead eye as it is. Um, you can also stick an engine on him and get that pace boosted, but again, another nice card from EA. Yao Cancelo, again, very, very nice. You stick a shadow on this guy, he's a 91 right back, get that maximum pace. Passing and dribbling for a right back are very, very top tier. Defending with that shadow is very, very nice, and that stamina is absolutely banging. So, another good right back card again, a live item which you expect to get upgraded with Manchester City. Um, Insigne, I'm happy that uh, Insigne got an up a uh, 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 road to the final card again. Napoli, my favourite team, so I'm always I'm always chuffed to see um, Napoli players coming through. That's why I've completed the Politano Freeze SBC, although it was 150k again, it's a Napoli player. and uh, I've got a big interest in Napoli, so 4 star, 4 star, I believe he's got an outside the foot and finish shot trait, Insigne is an absolute banging card, this guy with a dead eye, he's just cracked, he's so slippery, he's so agile, 95-95 agility balance, ball control dribbling insane, pace split a bit, a bit meh, a bit, a bit not even, like, just a bit weird, but again, as a cam, he's absolutely cracked with that pace, shooting and passing again with that boost with that dead eye, this card's going to be brilliant, again, with another opportunity, and to get an upgrade, you never know. He could be, in, he could end up being an end, an end game player. A card day, absolutely irrelevant. He's just thirty three k. Agility balance, absolutely rubbish. Physicals and other than jumping, absolutely rubbish. Pace, rubbish. Passing, rubbish. Just no a good card at all. Three star, four star. Um, outside of the foot shot, power header, and solid player. Just, just no a good card. Maybe a hunter. Get that pace up and that shooting max. But again. That's only why he's um, 33k. The same with Tad, it's just far too slow. 15k is coming in it. It's just far, far too slow. I mean, not even a hunter sorts him out. For 80 pace in this game. This year, this, year, this, this game is just all about pace. Um, Tad, it's just no good enough, unfortunately. And I'm going to do Gnabry and then I'm going to come back to Vaughan. But as I said, 240k, 230k, 250k. 4 star, 4 star, medium high work rates. Um, flair and injury, I don't know why they give players injury prone traits, so irrelevant, but again, this card is absolutely cracked, where dead eyes are 93, nice pace split, dribbling's absolutely banging, shooting and passing with that dead eye, absolutely top tier, it's the pace, as I, as I reiterated before I jumped 20 foot bin, if these guys are not going to change your main team, whether it's foot champs or whatever you play, rivals, whatever it may be, don't complete them for that kind of price, he's, he's, he's far too expensive just to be getting a club to put, to put into, um, to put into your, your basically into your club and just use them. Just use his loan and the objectives and the friendlies and the miles with them for the milestones. Just use his loan. Um, it saves you that two hundred and forty k. Only get this guy if you're a maybe a German or if you if you if you like Bayern Munich or you've got a connection with Nabri Sell. Only do this guy in that case. And I'm not really sure about doing him or not. I'll probably end up just grabbing his loan to be honest because he doesn't improve my champs team. And uh, if I was to complete him, then I'd be just going against my own opinion. So I probably will just end up completing his loan. Um, it's the exact same as he's as Navas. Last night I did recommend that I was going to do him. But again, he doesn't improve my, my foot champs team. I have Varane and Lauren Blanc at the back. So he's never going to improve that. Um, and I, I, I have, I'll probably will just complete his loan as well. So there's no point in spending these crazy amounts of money on players. that You just grab the loan and then you can use them in friendlies as much as you can. That would be my opinion on it. So, 
the objectives card for this week um, three star four star um, high high work rate stocky build leadership solid player this guy with a shadow is a 90 centre back man he just seems to have all the dribbling and passing for a centre back very very nice physicals are actually very well rounded in general with that shadow defending scrap and that pace is absolutely banging so this for you're pro, you're only playing eight games for this guy and it is in for, for it's in the friendly so you sometimes get rage quits and stuff so you might be actually not playing eight full games and you're getting a weird and wonderful card as I said his normal card is a striker um and it's just it's very very odd for him to be a centre back but he's actually a very very nice centre back he's only five foot ten but height in this game doesn't really matter much um like a, a very very nice card to be getting basically for just grinding the game which. I'm 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 ecstatic about it. To be honest with you, I, I enjoy playing the game for cards and 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 doing the objective slash milestone players. So I'm I'm actually looking forward to getting this guy completed in the run up to Christmas, which is brilliant. So um, I'm chuffed chuffed with that, guys. I am chuffed chuffed with that. So a lot of nice content released tonight. Um, sorry, my foot my foot my stream cut. Uh, my my recording cut. It was just. A, the, the, the screen but no a very a very very nice amount of content released tonight uh, nice SBC if you can afford to do them if not as I said Gabby's loan a nice objectives card for doing very very little in the game and as I said there is always that chance to pack the road to the final players every one of the players have got some value other than Akardi and Tadic they just don't have the pace or the, they just don't fit the meta as much but again you look at Pogba you look at Varane um, you look at Insigne all these guys with potential upgrades are going to be Potentially end game players with the upgrades definitely one hundred percent. So, um, I'm I'm looking forward to see if I can actually get packs. I'm going to grind some packs, um, probably uh, tonight or tomorrow morning before my work, and I'm just going to see if I've got the chat if, if I've got the luck to pack one of these guys. Um, even that one Aldum there as well, another very very nice card. So, um, aye, a very very nice a very very nice evening for content, and I'm I'm very chuffed with that. We've got another objective player to play for couple of SPCs and I can't reiterate enough I know I keep saying it but if you can't afford to do their actual SPC grab their loan please just do just do their loan you play them in friendlies as much as you want for objectives and milestones and it's half the battle for yourself as I said you're not spending stupid amounts of money on cards that are just going to sit in your club so um, uh, aye that's that's what I would that's what I would recommend guys um, but if you are if you are enjoying the content troops Drop me a like, please. Um, I would really, really appreciate it. Like the video. Um, subscribe as well. I just want to make everybody aware that when you are subscribing, you're not paying anything towards me. I'm not here for money. I'm not here for fame. I'm here just making content because this is what I enjoy doing. This is one of my hobbies. I enjoy talking absolute rubbish. And it's and I'm grateful for people um, if you if you like listening to my rubbish, basically. <laughs> as I said, I'm not here for money. I'm not here for fame. So hitting the subscription button, doesn't cost you a penny um, and just make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and see if you hit the bell button as well it just lets you know any notifications and stuff that um, when I'm dropping new content it'll pop up so that you actually know that I'm dropping content I usually drop content basically every night if there is something on FIFA worth talking about if they drop a new SBC so with, throughout this month for the Fuck Freeze promo I will be dropping content every night um, I try and make his videos as much as possible I'm not just going to make a video to come on and talk about one silver star team the week player, do you know what I mean? It'll take me about two minutes to run through, so if there is a decent amount of content in one night, I'll do a video a night. If there's maybe a decent amount of content, maybe over two or three nights, I'll then do one video and just cover it all. Um, so it gives you guys the, my opinion, whether he's like whether he's into my opinion or no. Again, as I said, there's not a normal event in your opinion, so if you are watching the videos, guys, please just drop me a like. I will really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, as I said. It costs you zilch, um, and hit the bell buttons, then you will know when I'm uh, dropping new content. I've got a few mates that enjoy watching my videos and just getting a couple of opinions off me and that. Um, as I said, if you're looking for me to do anything else, drop me a comment in the bottom of the video. I'll be sure to get back to you, whether you want me to maybe look into squad building, if you've got some opinions that you're needing in, it, in other areas of the game. Um, I can make a video for that specific stuff for you guys. Um, it's honestly not a problem. I've got the time there, and I just like helping people out, especially people who have no played the game as much as me, because this is my main game, and I'm basically on it all the time. I'm always learning myself, so I don't mind passing down information that I've got or whatever. Um, as I said, just please like the video, please subscribe to me. It's much appreciated. But other than that, guys, you enjoy your Friday evening, enjoy your weekend if I don't see you or hear for you, whatever. Um, but 
More importantly, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Peace and love, guys. I'm out. See you after.